Hello guys, welcome to another session of Life Class with Ayum. Welcome to the month of April. Our theme for this month is friendship. And today I'm going to be sharing with us on the topic, who is a friend? Who is a friend? I know we all have um, our own ideas of, of, what, of who a true friend should truly be. So I'm going to be sharing my views with you. And feel free to also let me know what your views are in the comment section. So who is a friend? We know that friendship is an interpersonal relationship. It's a relationship of mutual affection, where you deeply care about somebody, you, 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 you like the person, you love somebody, and then you care about the person's welfare. So that is what friendship is all about. So my number one quality in friendship is a friend is someone who truly cares. A friend is someone who truly cares. A friend cares about you. A friend watches out for your welfare. They they, they, they feel your pain. They know when you are when they, they just they just they are just there for you. They care about you. They if they don't see you, they want to know what is up with you. So a friend is someone that watches out for you, someone that truly cares about you. So for me, that is a friend. A friend truly cares about you. And of course, as I'm talking about the qualities of friendship, it's two ways because like I said, friendship is, is a mutual relationship where you are there to bring something to the table and then the person that you're in relationship with also is bringing something to the table. So, a friend, so in friendship, we expect to benefit and we also expect the other person to benefit from us. So friendship ought to be for mutual relationship. It shouldn't just be a one-way thing. So that is why we need to recognize who a true friend is. So a friend is someone who truly cares, who truly cares. And of course, you that, that, that is in a relationship ought to also truly care about the people that you are in relationship with. So a friend is someone that truly cares. And then another quality of friendship is a friend is someone that loves. A friend is someone that loves and loves unconditionally. When people love you with conditions, you need to check that friendship. You need to question that friendship because a true friend will love you unconditionally. They will love you when you are up. They will love you when you are down. They will love you when things are going well with you. They will love you when things are not going so well with you. They will always be there for you. They will love you for who you are, not for what you have. So a true friend truly loves, and a true friend loves unconditionally. A true friend truly loves, and a true friend loves unconditionally. So and you, you, you actually discover that it's very, very difficult to find true friends, especially in the world that we are today. Because so many times we tend to be very self-centered, we are watching out for only ourselves. We are concerned about only our interests. And many times, even when we want to make friends, we are thinking of what will benefit only. But it ought not to be like that. When we go into a relationship, we ought to be thinking of what can I offer this person? What can this person get from me? When this person is evaluating their relationship with me, what can they say? Oh, since I went into friendship with this person, this is what I have learned. This is the deposit the person has made in me. And of course, you also should be asking the same question. Because if you are in any friendship and you are the only person giving out, that friendship is going to drain you and it's eventually going to kill you. So any relationship that you are, any friendship that you have, that you have nothing to gain, you need to also evaluate it. And that is the purpose of this life class. So that we know who our true friends are and we begin to filter out people that are not true friends. Because it is good to have a lot of friends, to have a lot of people that you can socialize with. But if you don't have somebody that you can cry to when you, when you need to cry, somebody on whose shoulder you can cry, somebody you can call at any time of the day, then there's no need having a lot of people around you. And that is actually the situation a lot of us find ourselves. We find that we have a lot of people around us. You, especially now with the area of social media, you can have a lot of friends on social media. You can have a lot of people follow you on social media. And then you find that at your low moments, when you really need to speak to somebody, you can't find somebody to speak to. You can't find somebody to confide in. So, you need, so we need true friends. 
And the, what we need to realize is that God created us for mutual relationship. Man was not created to be in isolation. And that was why when God created man, he found that it was not good for man to be alone. And that is why he said, I will make him a helpmate. And that was why God created Eve to be a companion to Adam. So you find that we are meant to be in relationships with one another. Because when we are in relationship, we sharpen one another, we help one another. We are there for one another. When one person is weak, another person can strengthen the other person. So friendship is quite important and we all need friends. But it is good for us to know who a true friend is so that we can know how to invest our time and, and, and our energy. So a true friend is someone who truly cares. A true friend is someone who truly cares about you. I've gone through situations in my life that I found myself virtually on the ground and virtually very weak to do anything. And I've seen some true friends stand by me. And I've come to now appreciate those people the more. And I've also seen some friends that when they saw me at my low moments, they turned their backs on me. So I've also, now, that is why I cannot differentiate who a true friend is and who a friend that is not true is. And it is good for us to know these things so that we can know who our true friends are. And the reason why you need to know your true friends is that we are all, I believe we are all people of investment. We want to make investment where it is profitable. And so it should be with friendship. You want to invest in profitable friendships. You don't want to invest so much energy in a friend, in, in any relationship that does not bring anything out. And at the end of the day, it brings you hurt and pain. That is what I want you to avoid. And that is why I'm making this broadcast. So we need to know who is a true friend. Who is a true friend? So number one, a true friend truly cares. And secondly, a true friend loves you unconditionally. A true friend loves you unconditionally. A true friend might know all the things that you have done. They might know all your weaknesses, but yet they still try to cover you and they still love you unconditionally. And those are the kind of friends that we need in our life. We need people that will love us unconditionally. Every one of us is happy when we are in an environment that we are accepted the way that we are, that we don't have to work very hard to please the people that we are in relationship with. We all know that we all like to be free and that gives us the liberty to even be our best because we can be free to be who we are created to be. And that is what one, of, one, of the, one of the luxuries that you enjoy with true friendship. You can be yourself because they love you just the way you are. A true friend loves you just the way you are. And then another quality of a true friend is that a true friend is someone that you can trust and the person also trusts you. A true friend is someone that you can trust and the person also trusts you. And of course, true friendship, this kind of true friendship I'm talking about, is not just built in a day. It takes a while to build true friendship. But as you are in a friendship with someone, as you, as you, are, in, as you are in a relationship with somebody as a friend, you are, you are now beginning to study, can I trust this person? Can I tell my secret to this person? And I'm sure that that secret will be safe. So you need, we need to know who, who, who a true friend is. Can, and, and of course, you also need to position yourself as a true friend. If somebody considers you to be their friend, or if you consider certain people to be your friend, can they trust you? Can they tell you their secret and it will be safe with you? So we need not just to have true friends, but we need to make ourselves available as true friends. So a true friend is someone that you can trust. A true friend is someone that you can trust. I've come across situations where you tell your secret to somebody and maybe at the time of misunderstanding, they use those secrets to attack you. And it ought not to be like that as a true friend. Because every relationship will be challenged. Just like as siblings in, in, in the family, they, they, they will always fight. But, it, but the more the, 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 when you fight, it's meant for you to understand one another. And then you are just meant to resolve it. It shouldn't be the end of the relationship. So a true friend, so even, we, even if you fight with a true friend, you find that it is not, they will not use your weaknesses against you. But rather, you, you will still make up and you understand each other better. So a true friend is someone that you can trust. It's someone that you will tell your secrets and they will not blow it to the whole world. Someone that will not use your weaknesses against you. That is a true friend. 
And of course, true friends are very, very scarce in the world that we are today. And they get more and more scarce. So you just find that if you find one or two true friends, you need to really, really value this relationship. You need to value this friendship. Because like I said, any, any, some, any commodity that is scarce is something that you treasure and you value. So when you have...